Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Yash and today we will learn how to show web pages inside your app. We will be learning two ways of displaying results of a web address. First, we will use Safari services to display contents of a URL. And second, we will use a web view. You may ask then what's the difference? Safari service is a much simpler solution compared to web view whereas WebView is much more flexible in terms of intended modifications. Let me show you what we will be creating today. This is a sample project which I worked on. So we have a text field and we have two buttons, WebView and Safari. So I'll go ahead and type in google.com and I'll just hit WebView. So this is a WebView, it's just a small square. Uh, it can be like any size. So this I dragged and dropped like similar to objects, uh, the way you drag and drop buttons or text field. Uh, that's how I did that. And when I hit Safari, it will take me to a like full fledged uh, Safari integration inside your app. So let's close this and we can go to some other web address as well. Let's do. So once I come back from Safari, this web address URL is automatically uh, set to uh, like empty string so uh, let's do apple.com and we'll do web, web view first and this is our web view pretty small it can be like any size once again and when i hit safari it will take me to a full full screen web browser so once again uh, web view is much more easier to modify in terms of if you wish to have uh, add some more functionality over the browser but safari is like safari you know so let's go ahead and get started i'll say create a new xcode project it will be an app and a product name will be let's say a super navigator and uh, interface storyboard language swift and a lifecycle ui kit app delegate uh, if you don't see lifecycle, uh, don't worry about that. Just make sure uh, Swift as language is there and Storyboard as our interface. Hit next and create, uh, save it wherever you like. I'll save it under recordings and hit create again. Okay, I'll go full screen. Uh, first thing first, I'll change this to iPhone 12 Pro and I'll go to main.storyboard, click here and change it to 12 Pro as well and close this. We need a couple of things here. First we need is a web view. So uh, make sure it's a WebKit view, not web view, which is already deprecated. So we will be using WebKit view right here. And I'll put it right in the center and let's change its width and height. Uh, you know, for width we can do 250, for height we can do, let's do 350, uh, much bigger than last time. So I'll place it in the center once again. And we need a label, so label. Uh, we also need a text field, so I'll say text field. And we need a button, so button. And it's everything's right here. So first, let's change this to HTTPS colon and forward slash, forward slash. And let me place this in the center and we will extend this a little bit and we'll put this right here in the center of the text field. And uh, you can play around and change the font. You know what? Let's change it. This looks ugly. Uh, I always and let's create a duplicate for this. So I'll place it right here. I'll select all four and I hope we oh, OK, we cannot change it for everything so for this let's do custom and it's going to be every near next and uh, let's put it down to 15 uh, looks good now and for this we will say you know what we can keep system but let's just flip the text color to white and we will have a background color of this and I will delete this and make this a little bit bigger like this and here I can say web view so web view and I'll duplicate this uh, the way you duplicate is you press command D 
and you get a duplicate and here I'll say Safari okay uh, I'll click this and click this make sure it's in uh, centered you know we can center it respective of the page and ooh, right here okay somewhere right here and we'll select this and center it respective of the page as well okay looks pretty good so let's go ahead and connect all the stuff so i'll click here and open up my assistant editor and we'll hook all this up so this is going to be our web view and we will say this is our we can say address a url field and this is going to be our web view pressed web view pressed connect and this is going to be safari pressed connect so we are done with all the connections i'll jump over to view dot uh, view a uh, view controller and so the reason you are getting this is because because we need to import import web kit and we also need uh, uh, safari services so i'll say import safari services let's deal with safari services first so the way you use safari services is first uh, let me do this so we'll say mm, let's do a url is equal to https uh, colon slash slash www dot and okay uh, let's deal with safari service so safari service is you know what uh, let's make it let uh, url say prefix and for safari services we will say let the url equal to url prefix plus and uh, here we will fetch our address from address url field so we will say address url field dot text and here we will say safari vc equal to safari uh, sf view controller so it's sf safari view controller and this will ask for a url so the way you create url is you say url uh, oh my bad so url open brackets and type in string and here you will pass in your url so this is this and i'll put in an exclamation force unwrapping and we will just present this uh, safari view controller so safari vc and animated is true and we don't need completion handler for now uh you know what we do need it for let's keep this and uh, uh here maybe we can say and we'll force unwrap this as well and for here we can say address url field dot text is equal to empty and maybe we need self here let's try to run the app yeah yeah i think we do need we need self here so fix it okay good to go let's uh, run the app and see how it looks okay it's still loading still loading okay here i'll go ahead and type in uh, google.com and i'll click safari i mean a web view is still not working we'll work on that later okay we can see the uh, brow uh, safari and you can click done and go back and you can see our text field is empty let's uh, try apple.com and click safari and it takes us to apple.com let's go ahead and uh, do the web webkit view thing so i'll go back to xcode and here we'll work inside web view so we'll do the same thing first we need the url so i'll just copy this and paste it right here and we'll do web view so this web view is this object here which we connected so we will do web view dot load and here it is asking us for a request so we will create a request so url request equal to url request open parentheses ask for url we will do url again and this 
needs a string so url and we'll force unwrap it because we know like google and apple stuff exist so and i'll just pass in the request right here uh url request yep and we are we are good to go so i'll just uh run the app again and okay let's do google.com and press on web view okay we see the uh, web page inside our web view go back and we uh, the reason i don't uh, remove this text from the text field is because uh you know what uh, after web view uh, we wish to go to safari so we don't need to type in again but if you wish to remove the text after web view is loaded uh, you can put this this thing after webview.load and it will remove the text right there and let's click safari it works uh, let's do apple.com and click webview and it takes us to apple.com inside a webview and safari it works fine as well so that's how you display contents of a url in your app uh, if you guys have any questions or comments you can post them in the comment section below if you guys like this video don't forget to hit like it does support the channel and please subscribe for future videos i'll see you guys next time